Hi folks, it's me, I'm back. <laughs> I just wanted to uh, go through some uh, basic steps on how to make a very simple bowl. What I'm going to do is throw the individual uh, shapes and cut them off the wheel, a bit like I did with the, with the, uh, the making of a cylinder. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Let's get down on the wheel head. And as you can see, I've got a few lumps there ready-made. I'm working on a Shimpo um, Whisper. This is a Shimpo Whisper, so it's lovely and quiet. Doesn't make much noise. And, uh, and the weights of clay are 400 grams. So, let's go. As I say, this is a nice quiet wheel, so it's nice and easy for me to talk and for you to hear. So, we're going to make a bowl, and I'm just going to go through the basic hand postures, these different movements that we make with our hand when we make a pot. And sometimes it's, it's good to know, isn't it, um, what, those, what those, those hand postures are. So we're going to wet our hands, bring in the clay up, coning it up, right, and that's going to be our first movement. I'm just going to grab myself a little wire, there we are. So we're going to cut that one off and put him down here on the board. It's going to be number one, right. Number two, so again, coning up. Always a good idea to cone up. You don't really need to do it more than once. A lot of people say, oh, well, I've always cone up, been taught to do it at least two or three times. Two or three times, that's a lot, of, a lot of time, isn't it? Just do it once and do it once properly, and that's enough. Okay, so now we're going to center it down. So it's coning up and centering down, and then just clean off, clean off the clay there at the at the base of the pot where it joins the wheel. Okay, that's number two. De -de -de. So now number three. So let's see that coning up, centering down. Right now we're going to go now onto the next. The next movement, which is going to be opening up the clay. Now I go in like this, okay, pretty much the same as we do with the cylinder, which is basically going in in a V shape, not going down, not going down, sinking a borehole, as it were, right to the bottom. Because sometimes it's also very difficult to judge the, the thickness of the base when you just sink a blind hole down. It's very difficult to know how deep you should go. So by doing it like this, opening it up more in an open way, in a, in a V-shape, you can actually see and it's actually easier to judge the base thickness. Alright, so that's, that's number three. Get him off. La, 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 la. Okay, right. Number four, right. Firstly, number one, coming up. Now, just a, just a. Let me just go back to the cone, just to. Just wanted to say something here, which might help people. I don't know. Um, when you when you when you when you center down, you've got to push push this clay of this cone, and you kind of it goes down. It goes down into itself. And when you push it, you see when you push it down, it could have a tendency, couldn't it, to to widen out here and become an uncontrolled mass of clay, sort of flattened down when you when you go down with it. But you've got to keep this hand here in. You see, it's a kind of it's a compression movement. 
what we're about. We're, we're compressing the clay, you bring it up and then you're compressing it down into itself and you're not allowing the clay to come out. So by toning up and then and I use about the, the heel of my left hand about there you see see that and I push there but if I was just to push it in an uncontrolled way you see you see what see what would happen if I didn't have this hand here to control it so let's just go back to the cone there all right so when you're pushing down like that you've got to keep this here like this so it's a combined, let's say you could call it a two-prong attack. One is going down and the other one is coming in, but that is effectively compressing the clay into, the, into itself, which renders the clay much more workable, um, much more obedient. Okay, so let's, we're gonna do that. So I'm, that's what I'm doing there in that movement, you see, by compressing um, in, the, in that two-pronged movement. Right, enough talk. Going in in the, f in the form of a V. Alright, now then, what's next? Now when I make a bowl, I'll just try and do this so you can see, but put one hand there. Now you can see that the lump of clay already, the diameter is, is slightly less at the base than it is here. Can you see that? That's partly because my little fingers here have cut in a little bit. All right, and reduce that diameter. But now what we're going to do is pull out the clay. Now what I just do, by putting my right hand here and by using my left hand, I then just feed the clay up into my, into my hand. Watch. You see? This right hand didn't do anything, did it? It just maintained its position. It was the hand on the inside that, that did, that, did that, that movement. And created already we have a, a bowl shape form, forming on the inside although it doesn't look so yet on the outside but that's what we're going to do, do now is do the outside so let's get this fur off put him down there get on with the next one okay back to number one coning up okay two prong attack center down compressing the clay in on itself at this moment here, slightly cutting in with my under, with this pinky finger, cutting in a little bit there. Okay, now going down in the form of a V, like that. Now coming in like that, and now with the inside feeding the clay up into, against the, against, against my hand. All right, that's given me a nice bowl shape on the inside, and bowls, you need to get the inside shape right. A nice fully flowing curve. But what we have to do now is I've got to push in here from the outside, reduce the width of the base, okay? And that's giving us that. I'm going to cut him off there. Right, this is going to have to be the last one. Compressing, two pronged attack. Reducing the diameter a little bit, just here, that little finger pushing in, going in now in the form of a V, hand here and pushing up against the side of my hand like that, creating already a nice bowl shape on the inside. And do make sure you get a nice flowing inside curve. Next thing we did was we pushed in there like that, and that's where we were. Now what I've got to do, because I pushed in there like that, is left a little bit of a throw up of a ridge here on the inside. So what I've got to do is, I've got to now, and this is what you're going to see in my next movement, is take the clay and just pull it straight up into the bowl. All right, now I know that's a, a kind of simplified, a very simple little bowl, but it, it just shows a little bit of the mechanics of, of how to do it, which is the important part, isn't it? Is knowing 
how to get from A to B when we're doing these things. Now I don't seem to have a lever here with me. We won't we'll worry about that. We'll use that little bit of web skin there, which we've got, haven't we, each one of us? Maybe some of us have got it more than others. All right, and that's it. Cut him off. Clean off my hands a little bit. That's slurry. Stop the wheel and lift off. Let's just get the camera. Just get right down there and have a look at that as they are on the board that I've made. There we have it, you see? That progression. All right, I'll just try and show you the inside. See, that was where the first the bowl began to take shape. But it only really took shape on the inside. On the outside, it hadn't really turned into a bowl. And then it slowly evolves into, into a bowl until finally there is the finished article, which could be a bowl that could be trimmed afterwards become a nice little V-bowl. All right, folks, well, there it is, how to make a simple bowl. Hey, why don't you have a go? It's not that difficult. A bowl is one of the easiest forms to make. It's actually more easier to make than a cylinder. So have a go and you'll find a, a bowl is such a wonderfully useful thing, isn't it? We can use it for so many different things. So keep practicing. See you around.